So today I'm going to talk to you about Dutch test results and interpretations for females. So if you're a female and you have difficulty with mood, libido, handling stress very well, PCOS-like symptoms, low estrogen, menopausal, premenopausal, cramps, just not doing well, crashing in the middle of the day, not handling your stress very well, having anxiety, having panic attacks, your circadian rhythm is disrupted, you don't wake up with bounding amounts of energy, or you're more energetic at night, and you're looking for answers, then I really suggest doing a Dutch test. The Dutch test stands for the Dried Urinary Total Cortisol and Hormone Test. And we love to do that, we ship it all over the world. Uh, it's a four point or five point urinary sample which looks at your circadian rhythm and gives you a lot of great information. I have a lot of women that will reach out to me and say, hey, I did a Dutch test and I don't think I got all the information out of it that I possibly could have. I think that there's things that are missing. Can you help me or what do you see in my Dutch test that maybe my provider didn't tell me? And I'm gonna tell you five things that I look at that are most consistently missed. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I help women recover from exhaustion and burnout and one of the ways we do that is through a dutch test so the first thing that i like to look at is the first page and it's called the hpa axis function and it looks at the central command station so basically your brain your hypothalamus and your pituitary sense all the stressors that you experience whether it's psychosocial stress physical stress emotional stress chemical stress environmental stress even the things that you don't realize that are happening beneath the scene it's still being processed by your brain and a lot of women don't understand that they think well i don't have a very stressful life but yeah i mean physically you're on your feet all day you live in a toxic world there's a there's a, a pandemic going on with viral infections you have multitasking between being a mom being a spouse being an employee or employer and and being um, a parent and all of these things will impact your libido your drive your ability to handle stress and and the dutch test is a really great way to start but the hpa axis function basically tells us is your brain telling your adrenals to speed up or slow down and why would it be doing that because we got to take everything into context when we look at the metabolized cortisol on the dutch test you're not gonna see that in a saliva test because the metabolized cortisol is how much cortisol did you produce for a given time period. And that time period um, is, uh, is close to a 24 hour period with the Dutch test, but it also looks at the hormone that's bound to a protein, whereas the saliva only looks at the free fraction. So when we look at the ratio of the free fraction to the metabolized total cortisol, we get some good insights as is your brain slowing down? Is your free fraction available? Is it being used? Is it being deactivated? When we answer all those questions, we can customize a recovery program to you instead of just saying, hey, your saliva sample is high, take phosphatidylserine, or your saliva sample is low, take licorice root. It doesn't work that way. The next thing I look at is the testosterone estrogen. Are you producing a lot of testosterone? Are you aromatizing your testosterone into estrogen? Is your alpha pathway or your beta pathway upregulated? For a lot of PCOS women, their alpha pathway is, is upregulated and that could be secondary to blood sugar imbalances, inflammation, immune dysregulation. So we're getting a lot of great information from that Dutch test when we look at that testosterone estrogen ratio. The third thing we look at for women is whenever there's hormonal symptoms, you as a practitioner have to think about liver detox issues. Liver is not detoxing, whether it's phase one, phase two, phase three. The Dutch test will tell us phase one and phase two. Is it going down more the estrogenic pathway, 16-OH? If it is, we think candida and yeast or genetic polymorphisms, or you're taking um, hormones to help um, get your levels higher, but it's going down the wrong detox pathway, or you're going down more that 4-OH pathway, which is more inflammatory and more concerning for estrogen-like cancers, or are you going down that 2-OH, which is the preferred way? We can get some really great insights along with phase two of liver detox, where you may have a really good phase one and a really poor phase two, or a poor phase two and uh, a, a great phase two and a poor phase one. That will change what we're gonna recommend for you. 
As far as the 11 beta HSD, I love this marker. Not enough practitioners understand it. But where you have your HPA axis is telling you what's going on in the central portion of the brain. You have your 11 beta HSD, which is telling you what's happening at the periphery, which is different than the brain. The brain needs cortisol to function. But if your brain is asking for more cortisol, your body may not be. And when the cortisol knocks on the door of the tissues to be utilized, the tissues will say, hey, there's already too much. It's very catabolic. It's breaking us down. It's wearing us out. We feel depleted. So we're going to deactivate you. That's where 11 beta HSD is going to be upregulated or favoring cortisone production. And if that is, just as an aside, we can recommend licorice root if you don't have high blood pressure. And that will help preserve the life of cortisol. But I would need to know the test first, and I'm not going to see that through a saliva test. And then the last thing are the organic acid markers. Is there B12 utilization? Is it depleted? Is it being used up very quickly? Is it not even there? How about B6? What does that look like? Um, what does your dopamine and adrenaline levels look like? Are you producing DNA damage? Is there melatonin issues? When we look at that as a whole, we can really make profound changes in your ability to handle stress, in your ability to balance your hormones, to rebuild your libido, to be able to have more energy. If this is something that you're looking for, please reach out to me and we can discuss getting your hormones and your health and your life back on track. And then that way I can end your exhaustion nightmare. Have an awesome day.